Hello everyone and welcome back once again to my continuing let's play of the Tomb Raider reboot. Um, where this time I am continuing my mountainous descent. Um, so I think I'm supposed to go this way mostly because it kind of is obvious that that's where they wanted me to fire my arrow ropes. Ah, here we are. I've got bad guys now. Okay. Now those guys are both outlined in red, so if I shoot either of them, then the other one will be alerted. Which I don't want. But there's that guy standing right on the edge there. Who he, if he dies, he won't alert anyone. So, I'm going to try and shoot him. Square in the head. Nobody was alerted. Ha! Jump onto that. Jump off onto that. Crack that open. Hey, light this on fire. So, this is all going very well indeed, actually. I'm really hoping that eventually these guys are going to stop talking and give me a yes. Now, this guy's going to go off on his own as well, and I'm going to get to shoot both of them. Because this is what you should do when you're, um,. Damn it, neither of them are leaving. Okay, well, let's just try and get this done quickly. One. Two. Die. Another headshot. I'm fairly certain I was aiming for his chest, but I'll take it. So I need all the help I can get. Ah, I don't want to go that way. Don't go that way. No, no, no. Okay, so we're running down now. That's a jump. At the very least, I'm getting better at spotting stuff like that, so um, there's going to be not hopefully so much falling off shit. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually... Yeah, that guy actually kind of fell down the massive ravine. Sue! Sorry, mate. Oh, I know where I am. I'm on the other side. Uh, when you go down the mountain village, you remember I pointed out there was those... Uh, the door that could only be opened if you had a shotgun. Well, I'm now on the other side of that. But this time, I've got a shotgun. Makes a hell of a noise. Ooh, more cutscenes. Oh god, that was close. Are you Sam! Hey, Sam, are you okay? What do they want with me, Laura? A fire ritual? This is so fucked up. Listen, I'm coming Poor to Sam. get you. I'm going to get you out of there. Yes, yes Please. we are. We're going to save Please you, Sam. Me, I promise. See, if there's anyone I feel protectiveness towards, it's Sam, which is kind of the point of the story, is that Lara feels protectiveness as well. Oh no! Yeah, I'm going to get to murdering some folks when I catch up with them. I'd like to point out, this is the most distressed that Lara has acted the entire game, and it's over Sam being taken. Not over Alex, not over herself being taken, not even over killing someone. When Sam is taken, that's when she's the most, like, anxious and stressed. She's been sad, but stressed only when it's at Sam. Damn it, you will prize this ship from me from my cold, dead hands. I did read something the other day that made me slightly depressed. Apparently, by the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider, Sam is basically a forgotten character, which that really makes me sad. Because when I was reading the comics, like, spoilers for the comics, but she actually ends up locked up in the comics. And then, um, so I was like, is there going to be some sort of getting her out of prison thing? But obviously, they were just locking her up in the... Ow! Whoa! Uh-oh. Obviously, they were just locking her up in the comics so that she doesn't kind of have to be involved in in the game. Oh, don't see me. Oh, don't see me. Get over here! I was really hoping that I could take him quietly, but I really could not. Okay, switching. 
That got really bad. I'm oh Jesus, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm on fire and I'm dying. And where's the guy with the fire? Where is he? There he is. Burn fucker. Oh, and now I've got to fight a whole load of guys as well, because they all heard those gunshots. Don't know which way they're coming from. Um, there was probably a way to do that a lot quieter and a lot better. Okay, 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 I can do this. I can still do this. Um, don't know where the guy that I shotgunned has gone. So let's grab that, and then... I feel like I don't want to go that way because she immediately crouched down more. So what's over this way instead? Uh, ah, looks like I can get up above some people here. Right, where are you, you bastards? I think they were going up the hill just now, so I'm going to go across here instead. Do 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 do. Hide, hide in the bushes. I see this is one of the small things about this game that is a bit like oh come on is that they don't find their um, companions bodies in any way once the bodies are gone they're just like ignored forever which uh... this feels precarious yeah so that so there's no like you can't leave the bodies but equally there's no like moving of the bodies and it just I feel like it could have added an aspect to the gameplay. Did he actually alert anyone? I don't think he did. Nah. Those people just going like, oh my god, what was that? What's happening? What's going on? I'm murdering all of you, you bastards. Okay, so I think there's a guy actually like in there, if I... off and turn back round. Do I have... Yes! There's a guy. In the testicles. Oh, and he's dead as well. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! <clears throat> oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't notice. Oh, shit! I can kill this guy without even being spotted. This is... No, I can't because I'm... Shit. Okay, well, I almost managed to get that guy without being... Ah! Balls! Oh, that was not good. I almost managed to get that guy without getting spotted, at least. I think that's all of them, though. So, even more loot for me. Because I am the best. I can't get them in the head, at the very least I'll get them in the other head. So, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all gone, because otherwise I would put my bow down. Weapon modifications available, because I'm awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay, oh, this is another... Uh, I've got to cross. I remember this bit. I'm about to go down a waterfall. And it's not going to be fun. All right, reach Lara. Spoosh. Here we go. I don't really know why it lets me control this bit. I suppose it was just to give the illusion that you could make it across. But I mean, even when I was playing this for the first time, I was like, yeah, she's going in. Here we go. To the side, to the side, to the side. Nope, back to the other side, back to the other side. I think... Oh! I seem to remember that this was one of the bits that they played on the TV show. And it... Oh! God. Yeah. It has those bits. Yeah, these... This is... These are, like, the most gory deaths of any two movie game <laughs> ever... Take out that. Maybe we'll try and stick to the... Oh, there was a spinning blade of some sort there. 
Okay, this is where I got it last time, so I'm going to hold hard over to the right. Get out the shot. Get out the shot. That kaboom. Got it. And to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Ooh, and we're in a plane. <sighs> Gosh, this is dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Reach for the parachute, Lara. Reach for the parachute. Please, God, reach for the parachute. Um, give me a button prompt. Give me something. Oh, I didn't give me a button prompt. Oh! No prompts. And she's falling. I'm always falling in this game. Holy shit. That would be the most terrifying thing in the entire world, I think. Can you imagine that? Falling out of a plane, having had to grab a par- Ow! Having had to grab a parachute, and then you pull it and the chute doesn't open. Like, even- Yeah, she gets the- I'm about to die. No, I'm not. Mm. Apparently, yes, I am. <sighs> Gonna get through this, I promise. Although this may just end up as another death montage. Just like... Parachute comes off. The terror that must go through your mind in those moments must just be something else. I don't think I can avoid that first branch. I think it might be there just to sort of teach me that, yes, you will hit the trees. Because lots of people might, like think that this sequence is one that they can get through without hitting any trees, and then that first branch is there to go like, nope, you'll die. Oh, I'm gonna bounce off something. There's just no way to not... Oh, God. Oh, something's happening, something... Oh, I've lost all my sound again, which probably means that once more the, uh... Ah! I think the Xbox has decided it wants to use a headphone set that I don't have, which is really irritating for me. Oh, God, Lara. Well, at least that stomach wound is finally starting to kick in. Well. Time to go down again. Oh, Lara. Poor baby. Oh, come on, babe. We can get you through this. At the very least, you made it down. Now we just got to get through the shanty town. Something very weird just happened to me, folks, and I've had to actually just redo that parachute bit again, because I somehow managed to not trigger the cutscene after you fall off the parachute. I think it may have had something to do with the audio also cutting out. Ah! God! Damn, I hate this segment. Yeah, I have been complaining about that summer wound. Oh. This is what happens when you run through scummy sewage water with a freaking stomach wound. Oh. Oh, gotta get rid of that infection, and you're probably not going to do it this way. Shantytown's another one of the big areas where there's actually loads of stuff that you can find. Oh, dead bodies. Yeah, this water's got to be the most diseased water in existence. Oh. And those are some nasty noises coming from upstairs as well. That wasn't very pleasant. Alright, time to get some bow stuff out again. So I don't think I can actually draw and hold for as long as I used to be able to. The old man? That'd be grim then. Good question. Next question. They were trying to rescue her. Matthias might want to keep him alive as leverage. Damn. Oh, Down one. you go. Been waiting so long. 
Can I take out two well, with this explosion or not? Sarah I think I'm going to leave it and I'm going to try and get this guy if he comes back and loses that whole alerting other people. Oh, or he's just going to leave. Okay, so I took one. Can I just... Is there no one else to fight? See, this was a good thing about this game, is that often, with a lot of games, you, you have to kill everyone, basically. Oh, no, there's another guy. Yeah, with a lot of games, you have to kill everyone, but with this game, actually, like, it genuinely had some moments that you could just get through with, you know, a bit of stealth, a bit of having to, like, be quiet, but... Okay. I... Oh, if he turns right, I am screwed. Nope. All good. Okay, so when he turns around again... Hopefully, I'll have a shot at that guy who's currently outlined in red with this bow. And then that'll be that. Good night, Gracie. Come on. Come on. Come on, give me a shot, you son of a bitch. Give me a shot, give me a shot, you son of a bitch. Got him. Okay, now the other one's going to come back, but this time he will be completely in white. And I will be able to kill him. Kaboom. That's what you get, you motherfuckers. Hey, and I got one out of three shotgun parts. That's nice. Can I get up here? No, I cannot. Oh, that hurt. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Lara. Yeah, this was quite a good section because it kind of... It simultaneously gives you the impression of, of your weakness in this moment, but does still actually allow you to do some stuff. So like being able to shoot the bow and being able to use the torch and things like that. But at the same time, I definitely do not feel like... Oh, God. What the hell was that? I do not feel like the badass Tomb Raider, and now I'm in trouble. That was awesome. <laughs> do kind of wish I hadn't used the shotgun for that, though. Okay, just let me hold this, let me hold this a second longer, Lara. Come on, Lara, you can do this, just focus. Ah, damn it. He didn't stick his head out. I was really hoping he would stick his head out. Got him. Okay, that's another two down. Get some arrows, get more arrows. I think that's everyone. I think now it's just to the, the chopper, but I am not taking chances. So out we go with the bow. Is there anyone around here? Is there anyone around here? Come on. Yes, there is. Oh, reflex headshot. Take that. Good night. I'm the greatest. That was such a pure luck shot. And... Pull this down. Get on board, and prepare for one of the most grisly and horrible cutscenes in the entire game. Yep. Yeah, this ain't good. See, to be fair, also, this is very realistic, because obviously they would have stripped this, because you can't survive without Sorry. things like medicines and stuff like that. So, yeah, of course, they've all taken all that stuff. Ooh. I would question how long that guy's been there, though, because if he's been there more than a few months, he should look a lot more grisly than that. <laughs> yep. Now here's this. I think to some extent, like, this is one of the moments I think that really defines Lara's character arc because this is just such a. <sighs> it's such a moment of. I have to. Didn't even pass out. That's fucking toughness. She's got bigger balls than me, that's for sure. Oh, do I get a new bow now? 
Oh no, I, do, I get the fire arrows, that's what I get, isn't it? The fire arrows are good, I like fire arrows. They're not super useful actually in this game, like they make a big deal out of them, but they're not actually overly useful. It's nice that I couldn't actually see the arrow in that shot. Yeah, that's another thing. I think now all of the videos should be at the same frame rate that I see. Which means that if there are frame rate issues, I'm seeing the same thing. So, contemplate playing the game like that. Right, once more I'm going to get to the next uh, checkpoint and then I'm going to stop the next base camp. How did you get there so fast? Long story. I can hmm. see the town from here. Are you near that large gate? I'm heading towards it. It's the outside. Oh, shit. And yep. A lot of bad guys to kill here. Thanks for standing near the big puddle of fuel. Very nice of Did I just manage to set that guy on fire? Yes, burn your cover down. Ah, sh shit on my dick. Jesus Christ. Right. Son of a bitch. That is a lot of fire they just threw my way. He's still alive. That's not Die. Die a lot. I think he might be out of range. If they hit that tank, I am really in trouble. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way there. Son of a bitch. Die. Got him. Okay, that's better. I'm going to get out of the way again, and I am going to use the pistol here because... Fuck! <laughs> that threw me a distance, didn't it? Get down. Oh, you think down there, mate. Did I not get anyone with that? That's just disappointing. Oh. Get down from up high. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not really playing this firefight in the manner in which it is intended. Okay, that's better. Starting to thin those numbers out a little. That's right, I'm still here. You're down there. That guy's coming across there as well. Oh, stop throwing Molotov cocktails at me! I would have loved more of cocktails in this game, just give them a taste of their own bloody medicine for once. <laughs> I think this is the last one left. Nope. Where do they keep coming from? Probably have saved that barrel for now. And then we'll make him a push. Oh, he had armor on. That would be why he didn't, you know, die very easily. Okay. Now that I've expended every single type of ammunition that I've got. Got any pistol bullets left? Okay, I've got pistol bullets at least, and I've got arrows, and now it's time to start searching all the bodies that I've just made. So yeah, so that base camp, I'm going to collect up all this ammo, and then I'm just going to stop at that base camp, and that's going to be the end of this episode. Quite an exciting and action-packed episode it's been as well. <laughs> bullets, bullets, salvage bullets. Did I not get any, like, 
Could I not get an extra skill point for killing all those guys? I just took on a freaking army with zero cover, can I just say? For whenever those guys are up top there, like, you just, there's no cover from the guys up here. And I killed all of them. And I think most of their bodies have gone, so I don't even get the, s I don't even get the salvage. That's not fair. Ugh. This game. I love it, but this game. Ugh. Right, to the base camp. Got another journal for me, Lara. Oh, I can modify the assault rifle. So, yes, I have now modified my, uh, what was a World War II era Sten gun into an AK-47. Somehow. Right, I'm going to do the skill point first, because I actually do have a skill point, so I'll stop bitching about that. Let's have a look. So we've got uh, some brawler upgrades, which will give me axe expert and dodge counter. I want the dodge counter. I really want the dodge counter. Okay, and now we'll look at some gun upgrades. Um, 469 salvage. So what can we do? Well, can't do anything with the bow. Can upgrade lots of stuff on the shotgun, or at least one thing on the shotgun. Can't upgrade anything on the, on the handgun, so it's either the barrel shroud for increased damage or the double magazine for reload speed. I think I'm going to get the barrel shroud. And the reason is because I feel like I'm using the assault rifle in these sorts of situations more than I'm using the shotgun, even when it's perhaps wanting me to use the shotgun. So, yeah. So I think that ought to just about do it. So the next uh, episode, obviously, is going to be making my way through the shanty town, And um, possibly I'll do the across the bridge bit, or maybe not. We'll see. But I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye!